Hi Pisces, how are you guys? Welcome to you, Tarot Readings by Roxby. Hope you guys are all doing well. So Pisces, this is going to be your December 2020 monthly tarot reading. I am using the Thelema for you guys. And Pisces, if the reading you know, doesn't resonate for you, definitely feel free to watch your other signs. If you want to get a private reading, get additional weekly readings live on facebook links to everything are below love to have you guys there pisces december 2020 spirit of the pisces your cards feel perfect Sign of Taurus, the Moon, Scorpio or Cancer, Cancer, the World, Four of Cups, Five of Wands. Queen of Wands, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Male, Six of Wands, your overall energy, wow, Scorpio just got this too, oh no, they got the tower, never mind, if that's your overall energy, Okay, the bottom, um, Five of Pentacles, oh my god, wow, the Nine of Cups, the Star card, both Wish cards back to back, then the Ace of Cups, and then the Wheel of Fortune. You know, this definitely could be a lack financially, stability. And, you know, definitely it could be lacking stability. It could be experiencing some, you know, definitely financial hardships. Just, you know, it's a down and out energy. And then for some of you, you know, you, you definitely have a, an emotional wish coming true. You do have both wish cards back to back. For some of you, emotional healing. And I also feel like if, if you've been struggling financially, you're financially recovering. A lot of healing energy and something absolutely turning in your favor. For some of you, there definitely is a wish coming true. New beginnings, changes that are coming in for you. Endings, new beginnings, that's your overall energy for the month. Big changes coming in for you. So, some of you that are, were, you know, that are feeling, you know, some hardship, you know, with this wheel turning in your favor, you know, if something is ending in your life and something new is coming in, I mean, it's going to be amazing. If something isn't ending or leaving, you know, leaving your life ending, then something, you know, could be transforming within your life. Something that's just never going to be the same again as it was before. You know, for some of you with the Hierophant, sign of Taurus, it, you could, it could be something legal, a contractual agreement that's coming to an end. Or this situation that you're going through. Like a big change. And then you have this five of wands. You know, those of you that are married, 
in a committed partnership with the Five of Wands, you, you guys definitely have been probably fighting, or arguing for a while over small, petty, insignificant things. So it could be your, you know, your relationship is going through a big change. It could be for some of you that this relationship is coming to an end. But for others of you, I do feel like it could, it could be something legal. And, you've, and you're experiencing challenges with that. But again, that's coming to an end too. And, you know, you do have the moon. That again, you know, that that's a cycle that's completing, especially on the full moon. If you've had some, you know, legal stuff going on, that's coming to an end. Even lies, deceit, deception with the moon. Again, all that's coming to an end. You have the Queen of Wands here, so definitely reading for some females with fire in your chart. You know, something definitely could be happening for you around the full moon. And you also have the world. Which is completion, you successfully making it, you know, making it literally full circle. And you know, for some of you it could be, you know, it could have been something that wasn't making you, making you emotionally happy. You definitely could have felt challenged. Maybe some of you are trying to get a new job, a promotion. Even a, you know, a promotion with the company you already work for. And I, you could have been dealing with a lot of competition. You know, because the, the Four of Cups is someone that wants more for themselves. Especially, I mean, in this deck. You know, this is someone that's emotionally, really emotionally, just bored, not happy. You know, even with the Six of Wands. Look at the Six of Wands, how it's depicted. You know, a little defensive, guarded, but but victorious. But it is you wanting more. And something with the world, I mean, death card, something is definitely leaving your life. But it wasn't making you happy anyway. If your relationship is ending because something was lacking within the relationship... You know, if this doesn't resonate for you in love, I, I do suggest having a private reading because this is definitely a love reading for me. But something is definitely ending that wasn't making you happy. And it could have something to do with another Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, male. Or you are this male. If you're waiting on a divorce, waiting on something to end, that's definitely coming in. With the moon energy, things definitely could feel confusing, secrets that you don't know. But this is still a card of victory and success. Move forward confidently. I think, you know, because some of you weren't happy, you literally took matters into your own hands and you took the steps to do something about it. And now you're starting the next chapter of your life. It really is absolutely amazing. So I'm going to be pulling you, speaking of moon, queen of the moon, oracle cards, and a guardian angel oracle card. Or, I'm sorry, not an oracle card. It's a tarot deck. For additional guidance, Queen of the Moon. Okay, 
Look at that faith with the Hierophant. It's about, it's about staying positive, keeping the faith. Your Oracle card is faith. And there's also a big full moon on this card. Listen, definitely needing to stay positive. Have faith to move forward confidently. Some of you are absolutely moving toward victory, success. Really, a wish that's coming in for you. You were not happy with something. And that's finally coming to an end. And now you're going to be happy. Come on, I, you can't with the world. The death card. This is too many, too many completion cards. Okay, this doesn't just happen. Amazing. Sorry. Um, Guardian Angel Tarot. tell you how many times this card has jumped out for a lot of the signs and I think you guys are my tenth nine of cups oh my god again that's right under the five of pentacles listen some of you there is definitely a wish come true when you need a private reading if you know that you're on the verge of, of, of this Listen, wow, this is a magical time in your life when wishes are granted and dreams come true. <laughs> it may seem that luck is following you, but actually these happy times are, your, are just your reward for being a loving and wonderful, per wonderful person. Your angels are asking you to enjoy life and have more fun. And the nine of pet, come on, the nine of cup, you can't even make this shit up. This happened with another sign. And the star card being there. This ace of cups, I mean, it's so spiritual and divine. So is this. And then judgment, too. Amazing. Listen, there, there's, there's big changes here, drastically. But there's something that you're wishing and hoping for. That is going to make you emotionally very, very, very happy. Pisces, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to subscribe. If it didn't resonate, guys, definitely watch your other signs. Take care. I'll see you back here soon with your love monthlies. Bye.